my name is Hockey, and uh, I'm a wireless security researcher, uh, which is from the Chihu University, and uh, we located in China. So, uh, so I made this presentation in English. So, I hope you can understand me. Uh, before we start this presentation, I have a tiny question: that is, does anybody here work for hardware wireless? Anybody? You can raise your hand or. Well, I, I guess this is uh, kind of 101 station. OK, so let's get started. Um, it's really good to meet you guys here and uh, make the presentations, um, share my work with you people. So um, uh, initially, I have a colleague, so, uh, but he has uh, some issue with his, uh, uh, with his house. And he, unfortunately, he can't make with me, so I'm going to make a presentation here to alone. And uh, mm, it's my first time to stand here to share my presentations in Code Blue. But I used it to make a presentation, made presentations on, on DEF CON, Black Hat, and uh, Kansik West, such as. Yeah, so uh, it's really good to stand here. And uh, I can see you guys have desk. Uh, it's really a first time I see. A conference like this, it's pretty good. Um, today, I will explain and uh, demonstrate you guys uh, that uh, how to build an NFC proxy to sorry, <laughs> NFC proxy to from scratch. And uh, in this end, so maybe someone can build a build build a tool like this on his own, and uh, maybe cr uh, steal someone's money from his credit card and gonna be rich. And uh, but please don't tell anybody that you still uh, you learn that knowledge from here. So that's step to our topic. So here is the agenda of my presentation, and I just draw a, a simple picture and uh, a simple diagram. So I will introduce my great team and lead you guys back to the old time we used to. Uh, we use it to ha try to hack RFID and uh, uh, some some old fashioned but powerful tools we used to use. So then the details of the newest uh, RFID hacking tool, my UniProxy, will be detailedly explained, and also the source code, the the uh, the, uh, the hardware design that will be explained. So. This is presentation is about how to build a tool. So our folks more than idea uh, of uh, such as the hacking skills, hope won't let you guys disappoint. Uh, I know most of you will, will work for such as uh, this Dissemble, such as uh, web security, but this is kind of like a hardware design. And uh, uh, if you have an idea, I will, I will teach you, I will show you how to make it real uh, use the use the hardware and uh, 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 so it's kind of two. It's not uh, how to attack someone. Um, by the way, so uh, here is the first quick video of my hacking tools, and I will let you guys have a simple impression of the UniProxy. Okay, this is. Um, so I will show you first uh, and. Uh, uh, explain the details one more time. So as you can see, sorry, this is out of battery. Oh yeah. So these two are the proxy tools we might use, and this is a post machine. So now we bought this, and you can you can uh, swipe and uh, flash someone's card and get get money. So, yeah, this is a quick, simple, and uh, now you get a full payment, and uh, I will explain this frame to frame. So now you can see there is two hardware on the one post machine and the one credit card and the one phone on this table, right? So these two are the hacking tools which we call this uh, UniProxy. And uh, we now we use these two to steal the money from your credit card. And uh, the uh, technology based is NFC proxy too. So 
this one and this one. And uh, now we are trying to steal your money, which in this credit card, use this post machine. So now we turn those two on and uh, input the number you want to payment. And uh, now you can see you, we put this credit card on our two instead of this post machine. So uh, if you want major, so normally we, if you want to steal your money, right? So someone will bring a post machine and uh, get around to you and uh, uh, input the number and uh, get money from your credit card. But this one, we just, uh, uh, so you can see, we, you can think we just make this post machine as small as this one. It's just the size of a size of a credit card. So now we turn those two on. You you flash this credit card with your post machine, and uh, and now you can see we are waiting for the result of this bank, and uh, here is a receipt, and uh, here is the message from the bank, and uh, make sure you just uh, have a uh, payment. So. Here is the first demo video of this hacking tool. Uh, it's, uh, uh, so I, I, if I brought that uh, to here, so it's kind of amazing, but uh, through this video, it's kind of boring. Um, I'm sorry, but uh, it's only works in China. Yeah, so this is a post machine that connect to the bank, and uh, uh, I don't think it can work in this place. So, <coughs> My team, we focused on the hardware and uh, wireless security research. So uh, I just uh, introduced myself, and uh, this is the, in, uh, the brief introduction of my, my team. We named the Unicorn team, and we made several of, you know, interesting uh, security research. And uh, so we are the, initial, uh, the internal security research team of Jihu 60. And, uh, uh, we found just found it about uh, three or four years ago, and uh, so you can see uh, we are still young, and uh, but we made uh, several approaches. So we focus on wireless and hardware, and uh, we have three divisions: uh, security research and hardware development, and uh, we also have a pen test division. So uh, we, so if you guys. Uh, you know, pay attention to the DEF CON or by had um, uh, about uh, uh, these three years recently, and uh, you may have uh, uh, memory, you may have recalled us that uh, we have low cost GPS spoofing and uh, we have LT redir redirection attack, which this is a 4G network vulnerabilities. And uh, also we will attack, we attacked on the power line communication. So you can uh, steal the information and uh, from the electronic uh, company. And uh, also this is the newest uh, research of my team, but uh, 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 which majorly led my co by my colleague, but I don't know why he, uh, also he, he submitted this research to Code Blue, but uh, I don't know why he wasn't showing. He, this one is much cooler. So this is a vulnerability of 4G network. So uh, everybody think 4G network is secure, right? So and uh, there is nobody. Uh, th the protocol designed very well. So there is nobody can you know can steal information, can hijack me. Uh, but uh, we found uh, there is a lack of us uh, in the in a procedure of 4G network. So you, we can steal and we can you know, tap anyone's phone around about several kilometers around me. So this is kind of damage, but uh, uh, we also tested before in Japan and uh, in Singapore, but uh, this, uh, but this vulnerability is not, not existed in those country and only in, in my country, I think, and uh, maybe Vietnam, but I don't know. <laughs> so this is kind of cool and uh, if you guys are interested, so you can see the video record of the DEF CON uh, 25 and uh, Black Hat USA this year. Yeah, and uh, we are not only focused on the uh, security research, and uh, we also focus on 
uh, hardware to develop it. So if there is something we want to do and uh, we lack of you know, the open source hardware and uh, we didn't find a way to buy it, well, we have a team can develop and design these hacking tools for us. So in this team, it's kind of cool because if you want, if you have idea and we can make it real. And this is a, a homepage of our uh, of our team. So you, if you are interested, you can go to this link. So I believe you guys are well not ex in experience. Uh, where you are not experienced in the near field communication. So we can we use the AMC card all days, right? So. Uh, uh, it's widely used uh, in our modern life, such as your credit card, your ID card, your security, security door card, and uh, it's well developed in military, in, in airport. So the NFC card don't need power itself. So we can say it's low cost. Mm. And uh, it will take power from the reader. So you can just use a simple card to access the door to go to the uh, subway. And uh, uh, so there is many protocols, many protocols used in the NFC card. So there is ISO 14443A and uh, also another protocol. But we, in this presentation, we will mainly focus on this one because this one is using your brain card. So I think uh, when I de develop this tool, I think well, if we attack your bank card, your credit card, and we steal money from you, well, this this tool might be uh, can raise people's, you know, uh, make people think, okay, this is dangerous. If we just steal uh, your security uh, security door card, so maybe people think, okay, th you can just clone it. No worries. So uh, that's why we focus on this protocol. <coughs> Um, so in China, I, I don't know the situation in Japan. In China, uh, the security ID card, uh, the passport, and the bank card, which with the chip and the PIN. Uh, I don't know if you guys use the, the the bank card with chip and PIN. So you can just uh, tap somewhere and uh, you, you pay your money, and uh, you don't have to you know swipe your card or insert your card. So you can just uh, tap the post machine, and as we just demonstrated before, so. Uh, this is the new way in China, and uh, it's uh, barely there's no people to use this kind of method. They also use the sweep and the insert, but uh, this is also a way to to uh, complete uh, payments. <coughs> so there will there was a wild uh, usage lead a lot of uh, attack method I mean, in the uh, NFT card, and um, that's let us get interested. So here's the picture of uh, normally the NFT technology used. So uh, uh, such as the hotel hotel card, and uh, uh, and uh, such as your this this is normally used in the door uh, security door security system in China. And uh, so you can see there's a lot of NFC tags in your life. So the, this two we designed, what we aimed? We aimed on the ID card. I, I don't know if, uh, if Japanese have the ID card, uh, which uh, your social security numbers were printed on it. And uh, in China, we have one. So if you want to check in the hotel, it's kind of like a passport, so you need to uh, show the uh, front desk, and uh, then you can get uh, then you can get a check in. But this one, it has a chip, so it cannot be cloned. Uh, it cannot be decrypted. So we aimed on this, and also we aimed on your credit card. So those two are really hard to exploit. It. So why we? Uh, that's why we are we choose this one as our object. And uh, also, if we cracked your credit card, so you can just uh, use other people's money to buy a coffee in Starbucks, right? And uh, also, there will be, uh, I don't know, uh, China has some kind of Starbucks, so you, can, you don't have to 
uh, and you don't have to call the service and you just tap your credit card and buy a coffee. So this is a situation, so we can explore this. And uh, by, if someone used it to, well, you know, play with NFC card, so maybe he will ask, I saw this question has been solved like thousands of times, because there will be a tons of hardware tools, uh, tons of software, uh, software uh, solutions could, could it solve this issue, but this is a new, and I will explain you why we chose to you know, build a new wheel. And of course, more like a hacker. So uh, we just skip the ID card and I show you the uh, the quick pass. I don't. Do you have? Do you guys have some credit card with with printed or quick pass or Visa Pay? So this is the uh, situation we want to explode. So in this picture, you can see we don't have to insert your car. Or you can, uh, or we don't have to, uh, uh, we don't have to uh, 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 bring a post machine. So you can just uh, bring. So you can just bring your phone or a simple credit card. Just a tap it, and uh, you can complete uh, complete payments. So this is the situation we want to explode, and we just demonstrated. So the way we use it to hack is, uh, we will use Perma three. And uh, this is a really famous, and uh, I think it's the best FID hardware, hacking hardware. And uh, uh, there is also a camera and mimni, and uh, this, this kind of these two can just emulate. Uh, this is a camera mini, and you can just uh, uh, emulate a Mifir 1K card and a Mifir 4K card, but uh, it can just only emulate those two kind. So you cannot uh, uh, clone or your ID card, clone your credit card, uh, but also it's powerful. So this is a hardware. Uh, what if we want to emulate a card on our phone? So if you have an Android phone and uh, it's rooted, so you can use these two uh, apps to emulate your uh, your I don't know, regular ID card, such as Mifir, such as uh, uh, Desfire. So you can use perks, uh, NFC proxy and NFC get. These two are also powerful, but uh, there is also some some flaws in those, and uh, some short short point of this uh, uh, those hardware, so those software. So why? So that's why we build choose to build a new one. So if you if you guys choosing Perma three, so it, even though it supports many protocols such as Mifir, such as Desfire. And uh, just name the protocol. And uh, basically, if there are any known, well known vulnerabilities in this card, Promastery can help you to exploit it. But if you want to hack or, uh, your credit card, well, it cannot help. And uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if we want, if we can hack it, we are rich now. So. But if you want to use NFC card, or NFC gate, or NFC proxy, so. Uh, as I just introduced, it's based on the Android, and it's, uh, it has modified the firmware to relay your NFC data, and uh, it, it can monitor your transmitted data. And uh, but here is the here is something we wa do not want that it relay on the Wi-Fi. So as you know, the NFC card it doesn't have a power, right? It doesn't have a lithium battery. So if you want to if this, if you want to make this uh, your RMC card working, it, uh, so all the power come from the reader. The Wi-Fi, as you know, there is a timeout. So maybe your uh, there is a there is a data transfer from one point to another point. It costs about uh, uh, 100 milliseconds and uh, million seconds. And uh, from after one million. Uh, after 100 million uh, seconds, uh, so the 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 your card will lose all the power, so it's dead. So when the data uh, once data is coming, and uh, there will be no more uh, power for it, and uh, uh, so you need to restart all the procedure again. 
that's why we don't use the MC gate and uh, MC proxy. It relies on the Wi-Fi. So we need to find a way to transmit data from point to point, and uh, maybe 100 meter or 200 meter. Uh, it's short, but it's quick enough, right? So it's too much delay to complete the whole payment procedure. I tried these two apps many times ago that I want to, or uh, I don't know, that I want to, uh, uh, there is another story I will talk about later. Uh, but those two are all failed. That's why I uh, want to, I told the head of the hardware develop, uh, development division that I want a new tools uh, to help him to complete this procedure. So when is this tool? There is uh, another story of this tool that uh, uh, my company needs a badge. So if you want to enter this company, I don't know if you guys have, but you need to tap somewhere, you need to tap the door, and the door will open, right? So, uh, and also, the administrator will check the time you just tap, you, you, when you come in the office and when you leave. So if you, you don't want to lose a salary, you, you can't be late, right? So it's kind of uh, like the, the fingerprint machine that uh, checks, the, checks the time you should in your office, right? So. Uh, but the thing is, this card used, uh, this card is a, uh, let me think, this, uh, this card is a hit card, H-I-D, hit card. So this card cannot be cloned. Uh, why it cannot be cloned? Because why we choose this one? Because the, my department, uh, we use it to, you know, take responsibility to choose the credit card, uh, uh, I'm sorry, choose the security pass card. Uh, which we know is unclonable. So that's why uh, makes, things, makes things weird. I try to, you know, work in late and uh, get more sleep in home, and uh, the thing is, I, cho uh, I, I choose the card that I can, it cannot be cloned. So the reason I try to develop this tool is I want to, you know, transfer the data from from my home and to the office and find someone, uh, find a machine that uh, nobody will notice and I put this machine uh, uh, next to uh, another and uh, well, you can, you can see a little, bit, little bit more. So uh, that's why I want to build this tool. And uh, also, I tried, as I mentioned, I tried to uh, NFC gate, I tried NFC proxy, but uh, it's, uh, it's not fit on this solution, uh, this situation. And uh, so, but I also inspired by those, uh, by those brilliant hacking tools. And uh, this is much faster. This tool can, you know, reach one point to another because it's, uh, it's point to point, right? The longest distance is about 100 or 200 meters. Uh, so it's much much more faster, and uh, so it can reach about one uh, million s uh, second level or two. So it's 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 much faster, and uh, so without the amplifier, it can reach about uh, uh, fifty meters. But with amplifier, you can use uh, this about uh, one hundred or two hundred or even more. So it's a pure hardware solution. We based on the XP, which uh, the PN series uh, chips. So this is a very powerful. I will introduce it later. And um, well, it's basically full developed by us. So we can, uh, we can. It's completely designed, and uh, we can modify it. And uh, uh, so in this case, we just uh, focus on the ISO one four 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 three A. And uh, but. If you want to target in the ID card, so you can use ISO 15639. And uh, all the protocol you might need, we can, because uh, it's made by us, right? So you can just uh, adjust it to every situation. So UniProxy is uh, it's a PN7462AU six, uh, based NFC relay and proxy device. So this is the core of this device. And uh, it now currently it only supports the ISO 14443 
uh, AE protocol because this is a protocol we, our credit card use. And uh, it's targeting quick pass. As, as you can see, it's Unipay and it's, uh, I don't know, the payment organization in my, in my country. And uh, uh, if you guys are interested, you can adjust, you can modify this one to, uh, uh, to fit Visa Pay, to fit MasterCard. That's all okay, uh, but I think the the this this kind of procedure is a common way, and uh, uh, as I demonstrated before, so this ha this proxy to have two parts. One part is a uh, read emulator, so one another part is a card emulator. So they communicate each other uh, with uh, so communicate with each other point to point. So there is an adapter. Uh, on this emulator, so you can just uh, transmit the, all those data to another. So it's point to point, to point wireless data transmission. And uh, also, if you want to adapt it to 1443B or, one, as I mentioned, 15693 protocol, and uh, it's easy to adapt. And uh, you are welcome to have a try. So the core of Uniproxy is this chip. It's, it's, it's quite new, and I think it's just uh, uh, manufactured about one year, ago, one year ago, so it's quite new. And uh, this is uh, the core of the Uniproxy. Without this chip, and the Uniproxy will just an idea. Um, so it's an uh, NXP manufactured chip. Uh, it has a very powerful, uh, powerful core. Uh, yes, uh, this core has a very powerful core, so you can just uh, calculate. You can just modify the data, and uh, this is, uh, uh, as I said, this is quite powerful. That I, I'm so impressed by this chip. That uh, every time I talk, I, I introduce this one to another, another people. Uh, if you want to hack something with NFC technology. This is the best choice you can you can have. So uh, with this chip, you can read, write, or uh, do a card emulation, or uh, uh, or uh, do a peer-to-peer -peer model to the, your NFC card. So in, uh, so with this chip, you can read a card, you can write a, a blank card, so you can emulate a card, or even though he can fake a post machine, he can fake a reader. So uh, basically, everything you know about NFC card, it can do. And uh, also, the transmitter's current will up to mm, 225, so this is very, very powerful. So you can just uh, uh, transmit those data to another uh, with, a long, uh, with a large range. So if the current is a little bit low, so maybe the distance will be uh, five to ten centimeters, but with this one you can have about uh, fifteen or or even more, right? So and also, you don't have to write the uh, source uh, source code by your own. Uh, in this chip, it has a fully Mifair family support. So if you want to uh, hack a Mifair card, as you know, the Mifair card is so so famous at. Um, basically, every subway company will use a Mayfair card to as the as the pass card uh, uh, in China, in UK, in USA. They also they all use this one. So the Uniproxy have uh, the the Uniproxy seems complicated, but the architecture is quite simple because it only contains four parts. So it has a uh, read card emulator, which we based on this X chip, and uh, it also has a wireless transmitter. So with this wireless transmitter, so you can just uh, communicate between one to, uh, between those uh, the card emulator and the read uh, and the reader emulator. Uh, but this is a point to point, right? So you can just uh, uh, just uh, you can just communicate with each other about uh, uh, one hundred or two hundred meters. And uh, it also has a power supply, uh, power supply mode part, but uh, you don't have to. You can just use a battery, or you can just use a battery bank, right? So you can just put it with your. Uh, you don't have. A, in this case, I I develop a, 
a circuit that uh, we use uh, that we use the lithium battery, but you don't have to. You can just connect with the uh, with the with the bank with a battery bank, right? So it also has an antenna. With this antenna, you can communicate with a real card or a real card reader. So uh, uh, is the library that uh, if you just buy this chip, they will send you. But in this case, we you can see it is supposed to the Mifir Classic. It's supposed to the ISO. 15693, and uh, also in this case, we use the EMACO pooling and uh, uh, HCE function. So, and also, if you are uh, interested with the uh, TI technology, which they have uh, uh, NTAC, so you can use this one. And uh, as I said, this is quite powerful. So, you, if you are interested in NFC technology developing or hacking, this is a great choice. Uh, so this is a full directory of the uh, of this chip. So you can see uh, we basically based on the free iOS. Uh, anybody knows about this system? So it, we normally use this on in embedded device, and uh, so you can see we have the Mifir, EMV, and uh, there's also if you want to have a uh, T7816, and uh, uh, there is also a EMCO XEHIF. So this is quite, uh, this is many functions you can use. Uh, as you can see, this is a real picture of the eye of the uh, of the of this machine and this tooth. So you can so I didn't find a way find a good way to to uh, to write these things. So I just use a pen on my iPad Pro. So as you can see, this is a antenna, and this is a core chip of this hacking tool, and this is a power supply, and this is a, trans a data transmitter. So you can see the hardware design is quite simple. If you do want to have interested in this uh, hacking tool. So this coral uh, circuit, you can just find a simple on the uh, AXP's uh, official website. And it's very not uh, modified by us. It's all the standard. And this is the back. This is only a battery and only a, a antenna. So this is quite uh, simple if you want to build an old one. And uh, so this is a, uh, so if you are interested in the source code procedure, so we just uh, start uh, the uh, we just start and uh, init the procedure. And uh, if there are any card near this I field of one four 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 three, and okay, so we, it will handshake with the uh, uh, with this real card. As I can see, this is a master, and uh, there, as I said, there are two parts, master and uh, slave. So the master, card, uh, the master is a fake uh, post machine, right? So it communicates with the card. So uh, first, uh, it do the handshake and uh, get parameters. And if there is no handshake and it's failed, so it will end. And it sent it to the send the parameter to the car car emulator, which I don't know separate with me about 100 or 200 meters away, and uh, it will receive the response before the timeout. So there is a timeout because I said uh, uh, the credit card uh, the, the NFC card is based uh, is powered by the car reader, huh? right? So if there is no response before the timeout, th then the procedure is dead. You need to restart it again. Okay, then we have the response and we start the block transmission. So we handshake and get rooted. So first we start the block transmission and we just wait response from the card emulator before the timeout. And uh, uh, once we get the data, we will forward data to real card and uh, wait for the real card response. So the principle is quite e simple. So you can I uh, I as a as a fake card reader, uh, 
so I just uh, communicate with a reader with a real car, right? So I just uh, uh, get the parameters uh, and handshake with this one, and I send the data to another point. So the principle, the principle is, I get the data and the transfer to another point, and another point he get the data and uh, transfer to me. So this is the things how this things happens. So I guess uh, there is because uh, 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 there is uh, technical details that. Uh, the data we means uh, we call it I block. Uh, there is three types of data in SE technology: I data, I block, and uh, S block, and R block. But uh, the I block will contain those money in your credit card, so we just uh, focus on this one. So this is a uh, uh, a master part, but uh, uh, this one is much simpler. So I will show you the slave one. This is the front picture of the uh, front uh, of the slave one. As you can see, there is no difference between the MasterCard. So the only difference between them are the source code uh, or source code. So you can use the same hardware design. So the hardware design is quite simple here. The major uh, difficulty is you need to uh, code everything you need. So. When we start, as uh, it's corresponding with the uh, master one, so after init, it will receive the parameters of this protocol, and uh, uh, if there is, and uh, we will response and the success uh, success comment. So uh, it won't handshake with the uh, with the real uh, car reader, which we know is a post machine. So. Now we start interacting with the reader and the reader emulator. So it's uh, uh, so we will init a card emulator with the received parameters. And uh, as you can see, it's I think it, yeah, it's right here. Yeah, we we init it with the configurations. And uh, when there is a reader nearby, so we will start in interactions with the received parameters. So we complete the hand procedure in process of, of step two, and now we start the block transmission. So here is the complicated part that uh, in this part, we will uh, deal with the data of the real environment. And uh, uh, so now we first start the block transmission and uh, we receive data. As I said, there is a three types of data in the AMC, AMC technology. So if there is I block data, which contains the money of our, our credit card, so it will just we will just directly forward to the reader emulator. As you know, there is encryption on this data, right? So uh, if there is no encryption, we can just uh, replay it and reproduce, uh, reproduce it, so we can steal someone's money else, but the bank is not stupid. Uh, uh, but if there is uh, R block or S block, so as you know, it's command. In this command, we need to save money. Well, I'm sorry, we need to save time. The time is really matter in this procedure. So if it's uh, S block or R block, so you can see the deselect is a command that uh, uh, the post machine told you I don't want this credit card anymore. So we just uh, directly process the, those kind of command and uh, save our time. So we just uh, save uh, two million seconds and uh, two million seconds more. Mm. <laughs> so uh, if this command, uh, if this data are S block or R block, uh, which is a command and uh, not a real data, we just directly process it. And if there is a, a real data, so we just uh, forward it to another point and uh, uh, complete the payment procedure. There should be some source code in here. So while we uh, so while we developed these uh, hacking tools, uh, we have some uh, several issues that I want to. Uh, inspire you that uh, if you guys want to build uh, your own tools. Uh, so, uh, so the first issue is the first byte of the UID. 
the UID, uh, the UID, I don't know if you guys know about MC protocol or MC technology. So uh, the UID is majorly the identifier of the MC card. So if you just, uh, uh, so this is, if this is a pass card, so uh, if you want to, you know, swipe it and uh, make the door open, and uh, this, uh, so the, car, the, the door will identify this card with the UID. So it's kind of like a social security number, right? So the first byte of the UID cannot be changed on this on this chip because it's just uh, so it's just a firmware in this uh, in this chip. Uh, the first byte of UID of this uh, chip is always zero eight. So if you want to emulate a card with uh, with a UID which didn't uh, start with 08, well, it's a problem. But fortunately, our cre our credit card, our bank card, and the post machine, they won't check the UID. The major issues of this credit card is the data, which we call it iBlock data. Uh, so we just uh, ignore it. But if you want to emulate a parse card, so if you want to you know, get, a, get into a building with someone else's uh, uh, security card, so this is a problem, and uh, you might need to uh, notice. <laughs> and uh, uh, as I said, uh, the waiting and the wake up time is that the major issue of NFC gate and NFC proxy. So before the waiting time, and uh, the the car will dead, right? There is no more power. But while we develop in this, we find there is a byte. In the in the protocol of NFC, uh, NFC technology, that you can de you can decide uh, the waiting time and wake time, wake up time. So uh, if you just uh, uh, so if you develop this too, so don't forget to change this byte, because you can you you can just change this byte to uh, such as uh, 50 or 100 uh, million seconds. So you can just uh, uh, so you don't need to wait. Uh, you don't need to let your card dead. And uh, uh, in fact, I think if our Android phone can change this byte, uh, you don't need this two anymore. So you can just uh, change the byte and uh, uh, change the wake time, wake up time, and uh, until until the your Android phone can complete this procedure. Uh, as I mentioned, you uh, when you just uh, write the source code, you need to focus on the I and the SR and block uh, those block data. So uh, uh, make a difference of those kind of uh, data can save you a lot of money, a lot of time. And also, there all these all these kind of things are existed in the part four of ISO. One four 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 three a. So, it, but normally there's no one to read read this part. So they just focus on part one, part four, part two, part three, and uh, part four is kind of hacking. Uh, I don't know hacking uh, tricks, and uh, uh, you can find normally uh, many things that uh, don't exist on the normal situation, such as on the post machine, such as on the AMC gates. All those things they didn't cover is existed in part four. Also, the power supply you might need because a chip has some flow. But uh, uh, if you just if you didn't use the lithium battery, you can just uh, use the uh, battery bank, right? So that this problem won't exist. Uh, just a uh, kind of remind. So uh, all this demonstration. Or all this explanation are existing in the lab environment, right? So in, we just uh, test this in McDonald's. So uh, there is a wallet which belongs to my colleague, so you can use his wallet to buy a, I don't know a cup of coffee or a breakfast in McDonald's. I'm sorry. So you can see this is a master part. And uh, we turn those two on, and uh, this is a credit card with a uh, quick pass. So you just uh, tap it, and uh, here is the self machine you can use. 
So as you can see, you don't have to connect it to the real post machine. Uh, once you uh, put the master card, uh, master part between the uh, wallet, so you can just wait and uh, until it connects with each other. So we can choose Apple Pie, and you can just uh, tap it. Now the payment is completed. So uh, in this machine, uh, in this situation, you can see we just use a uh, simple card. That's, uh, it's not quite uh, convenient, right? You need to get close with someone, but we also develop a tennis plate in my lab and uh, uh, we can use uh, we can just use uh, a giant one and you can just walk through someone and uh, cr steal his credit card uh, steal his money from his credit card so this one is just for demonstration but with a big antenna so you can just uh, suggest I sit around you and well your money is mine but there is also uh, some way we can defend this kind of attack so you can use blocking sleeves, which is the principle is uh, uh, I don't know, the I think is a flurry catch, and uh, so we can block the transmission. And uh, there is also RFID, RFID wallet, which I made a presentation in DevCon, and uh, basically everybody use that one. But uh, if you have something, some expensive blank, uh, expensive wallet, so it's kind of not fit. And uh, there is also a RFID jammer, so it just uh, uh, builds. Uh, it's just uh, spreading the white noise and uh, c block the normal communications. And uh, we also develop this one, so we attack and we defend. So a, we have a tool to attack that kind of thing, and uh, we have a tool to uh, defend it. And uh, there is also, if you locate in USA, and uh, you can just buy the guard bounty. And uh, this, ha I think this all, uh, this all are just uh, basically jammers. <laughs> so, uh, in this case, uh, there's a thing I forgot to mention that uh, when we buy this FC, uh, XP chip, and uh, we didn't get official support, and because uh, uh, we have a limited budget, it's quite expensive. Uh, so. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, it, it took us about half of years, but if you have official support, all these uh, tools you can finish in one month. The principle is quite simple, right? And um, uh, for, those, uh, for those hackers, I believe if you read the protocol document so all of well, all and well, so you can save a lot of time. And um, in the future, we want to improve the transmission range up to I'm sorry, uh, this is the old version. It's already improved to one, 100 meters. And uh, we also want to target a security RD card, the hit I class, as I mentioned, my, uh, my, my badge of my company is based on the hit I class. It's uncrowdable and unclonable. And uh, if, I, if I fit it, I don't need to work anymore. And uh, also the Chinese ID. And uh, also for those kind of pr protocols, it's different protocols, right? So I don't want to tell my my t my hacking tools which one are you t you are attacking. It's quite complicated. So I want to make this self comp uh, uh, comp compatibility and uh, will make it a self adjustment. And uh, uh, if you are interested, so you are welcome to join us, right? And uh, this is a reference. As I said, there is a. Uh, secure design of this user guide, so we can just copy it, and we can just uh, design with the same picture. And uh, also, you, if you are interested, you can use MC gate and uh, MC proxy. And uh, this is a part of the standard, so you can just read it well if you want to develop a such kind of hacking tools. So, thanks to my team who designed and uh, who helped me to manufacture this hardware. And uh, thanks to all these hardware which inspired me. <laughs>